Whether you're engaging an important client or catching up in a group discussion, meetings are an essential place where work happens in Microsoft Teams. There are three parts to a Teams meeting. Before, when you create and send out an invite, during, when everyone meets, and after, when people share recaps and action items. Here are the basics of how to get started with meetings and teams. A meeting really starts before everyone gets together. First, create one from your calendar. Next, add people such as colleagues in your organization or external guests. A location or make it an online meeting. Then, check scheduling assistant to make sure your proposed time works for everyone. And just in case someone can't make it, choose to automatically record a meeting and send your invite. When it's time, join from an email, a channel, if it's a channel meeting, a mobile device, or your calendar. Choose to turn on your camera and play around with a background to express yourself. Try a professional setting, a stylish look, or something just for fun. When you're done, select an audio device, and don't forget to unmute if you plan to speak. During a meeting, avoid the frustration of speaking over other people and raise your hand or share your thoughts and questions in the chat and react to a presenter in real time. And if you want to show a presentation, a window, or your entire screen, share it with the group. After it's done, go to your calendar invite to revisit shared files and view the recording or transcript from the meeting invite. Meetings let your team work together, make critical decisions, and keep the momentum going, no matter where you are.